When an organism dies, its natural defenses are compromised and within five minutes, microscopic decomposers begin to delve in. Some eating bacteria develop toxins like anthrax and botulinum, which are lethal to a large portion of the animal kingdom. In order to prevent larger carnivores looking for a meal, we are only beginning to understand how many scavengers manage to wade through shoulder-deep piles of dead flesh without appearing to suffer. One of their first lines of defense is quality control. It's been observed that wolves and foxes prefer to eat animals killed by other predators over infected reindeer carcasses, albeit it's not now yet known how they can tell the difference. Furthermore, contrary to popular belief, spotted hyenas favor eating fresh meat to reduce their interaction with microorganisms. On the menu, however, is occasionally only extremely rancid meat. Additionally, some scavengers, like vultures and burying beetles, actively seek out decaying carrion because it is simpler to find, dig up, and protect. The beetles cover carcasses in antibacterial slime before feeding in order to fight the microbes in these meals. Some scavengers choose an antibiotic taken after dinner. With stomach acid that is 10 times more corrosive than our own and powerful enough to destroy steel, bearded vultures attack bacteria. However, certain hardy microorganisms, such as those that cause botulism and titanus, manage to pass through this toxic stew and flourish in the intestines thereafter. Although we don't know how vultures survived their initial hazardous exposures, we do know that as a result of repeated exposures, their immune systems produce an increasing number of antibodies that help them develop a resistance to the toxins. Scavengers' immune systems may benefit from social interaction. For example, while they groom, eat, and compete with one another, hyenas and lions presumably spread modest amounts of bacteria, which may help develop a group-wide resistance to poisons like anthrax. Similar to how animals have developed their own herd immunity, humans have done so through vaccination against diseases like meningitis and smallpox. However, since we haven't yet conquered anthrax or botulism, perhaps we can learn some of these scavengers' techniques. After all, we share more traits with them than we'd like to think.